It's the Habs versus the Jets on Hockey Night in Canada, and look who's about to return to the Bell Centre. Yes, of course, it's Mark Shifley, who is still public enemy number one around here since he went on nuclear on Jake Evans in the playoffs a couple of years back. Yeah, of course we don't forget. But you know what? There's just no better way to start a hockey game on a Saturday night than some booze and a penalty shot. Alex Newhook kinda gets his stick in the hands of Adam Lowry. The zebras point to center ice, you know what that means. It's Adam Lowry versus Jake Allen one on one. And watch him, he comes in and just tucks this one five hole, look at that, he opens up Jake Allen's legs like he's some kind of a, a Kardashian. But still, that was exciting, I'm a big fan of penalty shots and I'm a big fan of Adam Lowry as well, what a beast. Now the Canadians do answer that one back pretty fast, check it out, we got Raphael Harvey Bedard making a nice little dish over to Justin Barron. He goes deep into Jid's zone and ties the game. That's three goals in five games right now for Justin Barron, and I mean, who's seen that coming? Guys, he's as hot as the devil's ass crack right now. Crosby was right all along, and I did pick up a little bit of an interesting moment on the replay. Watch, watch. During the goal celebration, Caulfield kind of gives him a pop. See that? Bam! But let's hope Barron keeps up the solid play, and for the remainder of this period, Jake Allen was just a, a brick wall, guys, isn't it? It was unstoppable. So off to the second period we go now, and this is where the Canadians, they run into a little bit of trouble, okay? This was kind of embarrassing. First, nobody decides to take Adam Lowry. Look at him. That's his second goal of the game. It's pretty much a free one. Jake Allen is not even looking. And then like 10 seconds later, Slavkovsky coughs up the puck deep in the half zone. And now it's Niederreiter's turn. He goes five hole. It's three to one for the Jits, but believe me when I say it could have been way worse, guys, because the shots on goal at this point were like 20 to six in favor of Winnipeg. It was nasty. Now, midway through the second period, the Canadians' power play goes to work. Is it fixed? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Alex Burrows doesn't run it anymore because Sean Monaghan does. He gets a pass from Nick Suzuki. Somehow, everybody forgets he's there, and he goes to his backhand and makes no mistake. Monaghan right now, guys, is looking like a pot of gold, okay? I, I still can't believe Brad Trilliving somehow paid Montreal a first-round pick just to take him. I mean, what a complete idiot. But anyway, the second period comes to an end with the shot sign goal being a little more respectable. It was 12 to 11 in favor of Winnipeg. And just over a minute into the third period, the Canadians would unleash the beast. What did I tell you? Yoel Armia was sent to Lavelle, and who got caught up? Who got caught up? Mario Armia. What an exciting prospect. He gets a pass from Caden Gooley and ties the game up at tree. That's pure joy on the face of the Civic right there. You gotta love it. And you know when everybody says the cupboards are full? This is what it's full of. Right here. Mario Armia. Stop laughing. It's also nice seeing Caden Gooley get on the board after missing a couple of games from his concussion. That's a nice heads up pass. He also threw a big hit on Nemistikov earlier in the game. Folded his clothes while he was still in him, the poor guy. But both goaltenders would shut the door for the rest of the period. Nobody could score one in overtime. So you know what that means we're going to a good old shootout and first up is Nick Suzuki look at him go <laughs> you just know he's gonna score because he always does no mistakes at all that's pretty much a freebie it gives the Canadians an early age now the next shooter is brought to you by junkies butthole of the night everybody give it up for Mark Shifley he comes in and what was that oh my god get off the ice Cole Caulfield's up next he gets stopped Joe Dirt also gets stopped by Jake Allen, and now Sean Monaghan has the golden opportunity to be the hero, okay? He comes in, makes a move, oh, but he, he, just, he couldn't get the Kardashian split on those legs. God, that was close. But please, fear not. Jake Allen's good for one more save, isn't he? Nikolai Ehlers comes in. Oh, but Jake Allen says no. The Canadians are victorious. What a game from Jake Allen last night. Gosh, he stole it. He made 42 saves. He looked great. And I mean, we can't complain because from an entertainment standpoint, I was definitely entertained. That was a good one. Let me know your thoughts, as always, down in the comment section. Please don't forget to karate chop the like button before you leave here. There's been a few videos us now that we've gotten up to a thousand likes that's nuts enjoy the rest of your weekend and hey oh see you next time